Well, <laughs> I have to own this one. A lot of you know what happened already. Uh, those of you that follow me on Facebook, I posted a video uh, of this thing burning. In fact, I'll put a little clip here so you guys that missed the Facebook post can see um, this thing is on fire. Uh, what happened, I, uh, we did some work on the vehicle and I uh, drove it about five or six miles down the highway uh, to um, a Bridgeville exit. You guys don't know where Bridgeville is so that's irrelevant. To an exit um, that I take and I stopped to get some coffee and when I came out uh, the vehicle was on fire. Uh, actually, it wasn't on fire yet. I saw smoke coming out from under the hood just a little bit. Uh, it did have an electrical smell to it, and uh, or burning plastic, one of the two. And I tried to pop the hood, and I could not pop the hood. Uh, the cable had melted already. Uh, this is before I saw flames or anything, so I couldn't open the hood, and uh, that was it. I pretty much um, ran back inside, told everybody to move their cars, and we watched it burn. Um, you see the aftermath of some of this behind me. It is completely, completely destroyed. Uh, the work that we did, I know that's what you guys are thinking about. What happened? Well, we did a valve cover gasket. Uh, we did a transmission service. Transmission pan was leaking. Uh, valve cover gasket was leaking. And uh, we did a little bit of rear brake work, some rear springs, and uh, changed the fuel filter. Fuel filter's all the way in the back. No issue there. Uh, nothing with the brakes. My concern is with the valve cover gasket. And um, I'm not totally sure that that's the case. But uh, what I had done is I took the valve, well, I had a student take the valve cover off. And then what we found, this Jeep having 300,000 miles on it, it had uh, just carbon all through the, the upper uh, of this cylinder head all over the rocker arms and the push rods and all the oil drain backs were plugged up with this sludge basically but it was a it was a harder uh, carbon deposit you know from lack of maintenance and uh, my main concern was to get the uh, drain back the oil drain back holes cleared out and uh, we were taking some of the bigger chunks off by hand and what I found it that worked very well was taking an air hose and uh, just blowing it out and so literally I was I had chunks of oil carbon flying everywhere and uh, it was the best way to do it uh, is it possible that a piece of that uh, oil and carbon was laying on the exhaust manifold and that was real what ignited this fire it's possible uh, I will tell you guys that if you were to do this job in the field and the customer left after doing a valve cover gasket and transmission service and the car burned down like this you own it whether or not it was my fault or not whether that was the case that that's what happened um, it doesn't matter um, you own the car as a garage owner you own the car and uh, yeah I'm still pretty upset about it uh, there was a few of you that posted on Facebook that these are known for wiring harness problems that apparently this happens on some of these Jeeps. I'm not sure about that. Um, my uh, concern about the the oil and maybe a chunk of carbon causing the initial fire, I'm not sure that that matches from a standpoint of not being able to release the hood. I'm, I'm telling you guys, initial fire, very small amount of smoke initially, I tried to pull the hood release and I could not it was it was immediately it melted that cable so I was thinking as my one friend mentioned the main harness or issues on these I think that hood cable uh, well let's take a look so you see the the hood release mechanisms are actually um, up on the hood itself unlike most of the cars where they would be down say in in this area down in here not the case on the, on these older Jeeps and I believe the hood cable ran down this side of the hood and went into the firewall somewhere in this is it right here actually yeah this this is my is my hood cable and so did that run with the hood shut 
yeah that hood cable would be right along this main harness so I think the the fire originated in that area and I say that guys because of how early it was before I had anything going on I couldn't release the hood um, so it could have been in the harness um, it could have also been one of you guys mentioned a leaking fuel injector um, these are known for that the exhaust manifold sits right below the intake manifold um, I'm not sure guys I am not a, uh, a detective here I'm not sure guys uh, I think I may never know uh, but I will tell you that that we were the ones that touched it last if this vehicle is in the field and this is a customer's car you just bought this customer a car regardless if it was a harness issue or not the work that we did was the valve cover gasket and when I blew, it was me, it wasn't my students, I blew all of that stuff out of there and there was oil chunks everywhere, all over the ground. And I did, I blew the intake off too. I was using compressed air. Um, I, I didn't, uh, I don't know. I, I want to believe that it wasn't from that because of how well I blew the intake off when I was finished. And we actually ran the car in the shop for five or ten minutes when we were checking the oxygen sensor circuit with my students and uh, there was a little bit of smoke coming from you know from this area uh, from the exhaust manifold but you know nothing that raised a red flag um, so so what's uh, what's the takeaway from this I don't think I have one I lost the Jeep um, what's going to be even more painful for me right now is I have a bunch of videos still that you guys haven't seen um, one of them was installing the uh, front base plate so this area down in here you see the, the uh, tow package that I put on this so I could tow this with my RV I have a video where I filmed this and uh, I'll be I'll be posting that um, I also have a a video of me hooking it up to the RV and towing it and uh, you know just um, some really cool stuff for those of you that are interested in towing a car and what what you need to look for and things like trailer braking and do we need one do we not need one I got a great series on that that's coming up too um, what else did I do I also filmed the CV or the front axle universal joints uh, a lot of videos again that you guys have not seen yet that I'll be posting on this Jeep. It's going to be painful to edit. <laughs> but, uh, well, at least you guys don't have to make fun of me anymore with the ball joints and the, um, you know, using crappy parts and they won't last and things like that. Uh, so, did I cause it? It's possible. Uh, again, if I'm a garage and I did this job it doesn't matter if I caused it I'm the last one that worked on it did a valve cover gasket car caught on fire afterward um, yeah I'm sick about it man seriously so if any of you guys live in the southern states I'm looking for a Jeep um, it needs to fit uh, the main thing for me is I, I, I don't want it to be a lifted Jeep because I want my tow uh, bar to sit level and I also uh, want my front base plate to fit the um, new Jeep that I'm going to buy. So I'm looking for, a, I don't know, 94 to 2004 Jeep XJ. That's the Cherokee. Um, you guys can correct me on that on this front base plate and what I can fit that on. Uh, but that's what I'm looking for. Let me know what you got. Maybe I'll come down and I'll be able to meet you and shake your hand and say thanks for hooking me up with this Jeep. and um, That would be cool. But uh, I don't know. This is where I'm at right now with this. Will we see more of this thing and, and what actually caused it? I doubt it. I'm done. I uh, got to own it, man. Did I cause it? Did the wiring harness catch? I don't know. I don't know. I would think, one last comment, I would think if the fire started 
in this exhaust manifold area when I started seeing the smoke that um, I would have been able to release the hood. The hood cable runs over this way. Runs this way. There's a rod. The, the hood release. It sits here. I, I think the... Where does that put it? Right in this area. It puts it right in this area. Main harness. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not blaming anyone but myself.